Way of the Ancients by Ashrita. Now recently, at least in the Indian community, parents are increasingly pushing their children to learn the art and logic of Vedic math. So here we are today in the 21st century talking about the ancient world and the ancient times. Let's start off with a quote by the human calculator herself, Shukundala Devi. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Now what she is trying to say is something that most people with a logical mindset think. Phenomena in the world is just the number waiting to be discovered. But she too used the philosophy of Vedic math to achieve her unhuman like skills. So here we all are praising this art form, but yet without a thorough understanding of what I am talking about. Vedic math originated in the Indian subcontinent and is the name when rediscovered from 1911 to 1918, with a book published in 1965. There are teachings of simple operations like multiplication or division and more complex operations like arc sine and cosine. These teachings and concepts most likely peaked during 400 to 1200 AD, but a more clarified history about who and when it was made is still unknown, as with most things at the time. Vedic math is consistently 10 to 15 times faster than traditional or Western styles of math mathematics. This can be useful while doing tests like the SAT, CAT, ACT, and similar tests when time is crucial and you aren't provided with a calculator. However, besides times like this, Vedic math isn't that useful anymore. With the fourth industrial revolution, most of the population has access to computers, the internet, and calculators. However, it's a great way to show off to friends and prove that you're worth something. Now there's a different purpose to mental and quick math, for a confidence boost and for those times when you don't feel like walking to your phone to do your math homework. I mean, it feels great when your friend asks you to do a complex math problem and you can answer in a couple of seconds. So I've decided to explain how this all works by teaching you all a method for solving cubes. I'm going to divide this concept into three parts. The formula, explanation of the formula and how to use it, and an example. This way of solving cubes is called the duplex method. The formula is AB cubed equals A cubed separation A times 3 times B times A separation 3 times A times B times B separation B cubed. This formula can also be divided into four parts, as you can see on the screen. The first step in using this formula is to look at the number in the question and renaming the tens digit as A and the ones digit as B. For example, if the question is 4 or 9 cubed, then A would be 4 and B would be 9. Now that we have A and B, substitute the A's and B's in the formula. Note, each section in this formula, minus the rightmost one, can only have a single digit. In cases where there are more digits, carry all the digits minus the ones digit until you get to the end. If this doesn't make much sense now, it's okay. You'll figure it out with an example. Our question, 34 cubed. Our first step is to assign A and B. A is 3 and B is 4. Our next step is to use the formula to substitute the A's and B's for numbers. This turns out to be 3 cubed, 27, 3 times 3 times 4 times 3, 108, 3 times 4 times 3 times 4, 144, and 4 cubed, 64. The third step is to carry over the excess digits. As you can see, the new numbers in each, each section are 39, 3, 0, 4. Put all the numbers together and our answer is 39,304. That previous problem would have taken at least two to four minutes if you used the Western style of mathematics, depending on how fast you are in math. This new Vedic version would probably just take just as long the first time, but only the first time. After that, it would only have taken about five to 10 seconds. And most of the time, you can skip a couple steps and get the direct answer. So is Vedic math worth learning? In my opinion, it's yes. Not necessarily because you need to worry, work faster, but to boost self-confidence. The thing is, these basic operations is one of the reasons why we get things, say trigonometry questions, wrong. Vedic math eliminates this problem and thus giving you the right answer the first time. This can be a great way to give the shy kid a time to shine or to impress and make new friends. Thank you for listening and have a good day.